Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to change the output device in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure that you watch this quick and easy video till the very end, follow my steps correctly so you can make sure that this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can access. You have your audio recorder and so on. So let's go ahead and see how we can get started with changing our output device in GarageBand. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up the audio recorder right here. That's going to open up this new recording menu where it's double the screen. We have our recording button, we can get started recording ourselves, having all the options we can use, and so on. And basically, as you can see, at the left and right side of the screen, we can see our input options and we can see our output devices. So, what you can do, guys, is select your output device right here. If you're using GarageBand on your iPhone, what you can do, guys, is just go ahead and select this option right here. We can see at the right side of the screen you can select to monitor your output. So basically guys, you have two output options for an iPhone, either your speakers directly. So if you're on your speakers or you're connected to some external speakers, it's going to appear normally right here and you'll be able to hear them and use them as an output when using your GarageBand application. But if you want to add a headset as your speaker, what you can do is just connect it before opening up the GarageBand application. So once you have connected your speakers and your headphones, you can go ahead and see the monitor option right here on the right side of the screen. So if you click on off under monitor, you can see to use monitoring connect a pair of headphones so i'm not using headphones but if you are they're going to go ahead and appear here automatically if they're working and normally connected to your iphone and you'll be able to monitor yourself when using them but yeah guys basically that is a how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel seriously thank you for watching take care and bye